I don't have solution and power. Mercy land. I don't have solution and power. My name is Mrs. Beauty Samuel. I'm from Ozoro. The man standing beside me is my husband. My testimony goes like this. I'm barred for 12 years. Since that 12 years, no sign of pregnancy. I've been going from place to place. So I, I locate this mercy land. 2013. So last year, I must carry my somewhere. I came. I'm just uh, crying to tell God that God locates me. I don't want to come back again, be crying again. Let this one be the last bus stop. I want to come here with my baby. And I went home. That very night, we now eat it together and do the normal work. After, <laughs> after that month, the next month, on the 26th, I didn't see my period. 27, the same thing. So, uh, that, uh, after that month, I now went to go and do tests. When I went for the test, I now see that uh, I am pregnant. Power! A harvest of babies. Mercy land. I don't have a solution. Power. Mercy land. I don't know solution and power. Name is Mary Eje from Benue State. After two years, I have miscarriage. I went to the hospital. The doctor said my womb cannot carry a baby again. That I have serious infection. My friend introduced me to this, I must carry my somewhere. After the program, I went home. I eat the blessed apple. I met with my husband. The next month, bedroom, I felt sick. I went to that the same doctor. After the test, the doctor said, after nine months, the doctor said my womb cannot conceive. My womb conceived after I eat the blessed apple from Prophet Jeremiah. Power! A harvest of babies. Mercy land! I ran out of solution and power. Mercy land! I ran out of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Franca. May I take care? I come from this data state, Agbo. So, my testimony goes like this. I got married 2011. Since then, no issue. So, till 2015, my daddy anointed apple. He gave us the apple. He said we should eat one that day. So, when I reach home, I eat the remaining one with my husband. We do the normal thing. Mm. As you can see in my hand, I am carrying Samuel. Power! A harvest of babies. Mercy land. I run out of solution and power. Mercy land. I run out of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Godswill Hart. I came from River State. I came from I must carry my son where 2015. After I came for the I must carry my son well. So that night I slept. I, I saw uh, Jeremiah Omoto Fufui that was sending bash to bash that is to carry children, to give people children. Then I saw, I saw a baby. He's not feeling fine. I carry the baby. I say, at all, at all, I'm bad pass. But later I return the baby back, say, no, I don't want to carry baby that is sick. So I left. One woman came, why don't you wait? The car that carry your own baby just came now. And I tell the man that, please, this girl was waiting since crying. Please give me the child, I will give it to her. And the woman bring the child to me that, why don't you wait for your own time? that see your home baby, fine baby, 
carry your Samuel. And that is how I carry my Samuel. And as I carry my Samuel, that very month, that's how I miss my period. Power! A harvest of babies. Mercy land! A run of solution of power. My name is Mrs. Sobiageli Godwin. I'm from Port Harcourt. My testimony goes like this. I was barren for three years. And I went to hospital. Doctor said that I have five blood. I now said that I'm not going to undergo any operation. So when we came for, I must carry my somewhere. Man of God located my husband. As soon as he located him, I jump out. So a man of God now touched me with the apple on my hand. So he now said, Madam, go and carry your somewhere and come and testify. So I was among the first badge. After the first badge, the somewhere came. So since I delivered this baby last year, prophecy keep on saying, Go and dedicate this child in mercy land where you got this baby from. And I said I must be here in I must carry my somewhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somewhere, Jeremiah, Omoto God wait. Praise the Lord. A harvest of babies. Mercy land. I ran out of solution. Power. My name is uh, Peace Bekesu, Mrs. Peace Bekesu. Standing beside me is my husband. We have been married for five years. And for these five years, we've been waiting, believing God, trying many things to hear the cry of baby in our home. And all our efforts was to know ever. We have been to hospitals, we have been to massages, we have been to many places for these past four years, and nothing happened. I went to hospitals. Later, along the line, um, I was diagnosed having a um, fibroid. That is a um, multiple fibroid. So doctor said, I should manage it for one year. If nothing happened, that I was going to be operated. He managed it for one year. I got pregnant and miscarried after two months. Then uh, he now advised that we go for the operation. We now went for the operation. After the operation, I went for tests. After some months, they, I, was test, I was satisfied, normal, everything was normal. Then my husband had to go for his own test, and the result was so bad. The motility was new. Doctors here will understand what I mean by the motility being new. So I was like somebody hanging on the air. How can the two of us be facing challenge like this? Then, on the process, my sister-in-law informed us of this program. That is last year, 2016, I must carry my Samuel. And we came. As we came here, a man of God, the, during the last day, man, the man of God prayed and blessed our apple. So, the first month passed, second month and nothing happened. Then I was a kind of being uh, hopeless, maybe second badge or third badge. I now removed my mind.